How you doing, BK from ManForce.com, ManForce Media, reporting on what's going on. It's currently noon on Saturday, May 16th, 2020, and I'm just east of Church and Carlton in downtown Toronto, Canada, heading up to the uh, big uh, Queen's Park uh, anti-lockdown protest, 500 polite patriots there last week, May 9th, and uh, politely taking themselves, each other, where they live seriously and relaxing, mind their business, or uh, being nice and looking, talking, and feeling great. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of that, maybe 500, maybe 5,000. And uh, we can also help other people do that, because at manforce.com, promoting polite patriotism, help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to look tough and feel great, and help the same polite patriots locally discuss and share great online info offline as better people making better places to live. Check the video description for more on that. I'm also playing my classic song, Fight Club, um, which you can also download below. And now uh, we'll take a look at what's going on as we head up there from Church and Carleton to College and University, North of College University, of a giant anti-lockdown protest. I'm trying to keep my self-respect, not lose mine, take anybody else's. Uh, since I was a kid, uh, poor sketchy people made people they know uncomfortable, couldn't do much with them, they wandered around shaking their strangers. You don't get involved, you don't bother them back, you don't bother anybody else. You just politely ignore them, right? And then everyone's happy they're gone, they're happy they're gone, shaking their people running away. Uh, people around are happy they're gone, just mind their business, or relax and get along. Or, um, or, um, or you have self-respect, you're not a mess for yourself or other people. When they get offended, if you ask them why they're bothering people, and then they just keep bothering people, make it hard to do anything else, then it's hard for them to do anything else, right? So a few here and there is okay, too many is not good. But otherwise, that's how they spend their social life. And so in a big city, like all the other like Canadians, they get on the subway, look down at the newspaper, look away, and, uh, and they, they keep going and spazzing out. You can ask them why they're bothering people, they get offended. And then they, they just keep bothering people, and they hard to do anything else, and that's just how they spend their social life. Right? So, but polite, patriotic Canadians, teaching kids to be, can help people stop, and that's good news. So let's take a look. I don't want to ignore what you want to do. I like being bothered by you. want to embarrass and look at it and go, yeah. See why you have trouble forcing people to look at that. Say a kid put dog poo on a stick and tricks people looking at it. Yeah. See why people don't want to pay attention to you anymore. You know, all rude and sketchy, messed up. Um, or you're supposed to, you know, you know, it's not supposed to do, you say bother him back. Well, yeah, take this. Yeah, for no reason. So. <clears throat> Well, it's a nice play, Canadian thing to do. <laughs> and then if that's their social life, you just quietly ignore it, and that's how they spend their day. So, like everyone they know at the shelter or whatever, just be happy they're gone. Just quietly ignore it, be happy they're gone, like everyone else they know at the shelter or whoever their family and friends are. And, uh, and, uh, and then, yeah, let everybody else relax and mind their business or know it's safe to be nice and uh, look at, talk to you, listen to each other, and get along. You're walking west up Carlton Street towards Young. As you can see, oh, geez. I just need to polite brief like that. What are you doing? Polite knowledge of the people and bother each other, make sure of it, how they feel. These people can actually look at each other, see what's on people's faces, read their faces, not not yet look at people because you're bothering them. You can't look at them because they might bother you and just run around near people doing that. <coughs> Now, if it's your wife or something, having some sort of sketchy meltdown, I mean, obviously what's wrong, come on, calm down, let's talk about it later, we're in public, but, but no, it didn't make any sense. There's no reason to be a mess while someone's impotent or impotent while someone's a mess, none of your business, so just let them carry on with their day. That's my social life. <laughs> well, you can't do it anyway. They get offended if you ask them why they're bothering people. You know, they just keep bothering people. And then uh, it's hard to do anything else. And so you can't do anything with people they know. They run around shaking your strangers. And you politely ignore them and just be happy they're gone like they are, not making you both uncomfortable, not worry about what you're going to do. And uh, everyone around, happy they're gone. And you have some self respect, don't be a mess for yourself or other people. And uh, in a big city, you're definitely going to see it here and there. But people think uh, less is better, less is better to help people stop doing more, is better, more is better. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Well, it's not a big deal. Well, it's really just polite and you know, They wake up and bother you, force you to put up with them. So you don't want anything else with them, then go bother strangers. You have to bother them back. You can't be nice and look at, talk to you, listen to each other, and then you can't pay attention to each other. You go do it near strangers. 
Okay, okay there were 500 polite patriotic Canadians getting along, mostly from Toronto, just last Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m. at Queen's Park. And now they can help me get along. Well, you can go get involved. You can get offended if you ask them how to bother people. They get embarrassed and lie and argue and keep bothering you. And you just quietly ignore it and you let them just carry on their day in the big city, right? Like we're in the subway, look down, with the newspaper, look away, look away, and look away. Relax, have a nice day. Okay, even the other homeless people, the other placate homeless people and placate mentally ill people, they're all happy they're gone. They're all hanging out, getting along, playing with the dog on a nice day. While this one's uh, running around shaking their strangers and so on and so forth. Well, there's no relation, as long as no one's blamed, bothered, or embarrassed. Well, you can just carry on with your day. That's what they do. Well, you try it, ask them why they're bothered. Do they get offended? Why am I bothering you? I'm here, you ask me that question. Never mind. Don't make do anything here anyway. Finish shaking your strangers and running away. Fine. For people who think less is better, help people stop doing more is better. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It's hard to do anything else anyway. That's all they do. Mostly anyway. They work up and bother anyway. They don't care about them and no one cares about them and then they just do it near strangers and everyone politely ignores it. No one's embarrassed or bothered or anything. So here at 40 College Street, Toronto Police Services Headquarters, there's also some clues as to why this might be happening with that statue over there. One of three Masonic statues here. One on the north corner, a man with bricks and books on his shoulders like that holding him up. One of a little boy pulling a trolley on the northwest corner uh, with a Washington Monument style obelisk on it, pyramid on top, kind of a trolley, little boy, and then this long thing. Then you've got this, um, this hermaphrodite top finishing a pyramid statue, right? So this is sort of a half man, half woman statue creature, right? Not quite a guy. Hello. Not quite a guy. Not quite a girl. You can see slim arms there, slim uh, hands, slim torso, thick bubbly legs and butt, longish hair past the sideburns. There's two bricks on the ground ready to finish. And there is the statue. Now, there's another family here, so I won't... Uh, I won't uh, violate their privacy. I'll just say there's a long, wide shot of it. And we should have a referendum to vote on what that uh, that represents. But that's a hermaphrodite cop statue finishing a pyramid. Not like a Batman, Superman, broad shouldered kind of guy, or not like a feminine girl. Sort of a half man, quiet half man, half woman creature, also with a haunted look on their face. I've got other videos uh, showing that as well, so I won't uh, dwell on it now. And I'll also make sure it's not too late for this, uh, uh, this rally, I guess. Better word than protest in terms of. Uh, the sort of psychological nature of it. And again, with 500, and it was about 500, seriously, you can see the video. Uh, uh, proud, polite, patriotic Canadians getting along last Saturday, May 9th, from noon to 3 p.m., mostly from the Toronto area, taking themselves, other people where they live seriously, relaxing, mind their business, being nice to each other and getting along. That's in direct contrast to the sort of zombie apocalypse, the sort of pretend sketchy girlfriend zombie apocalypse People get worked up, bother you for no reason. They get offended if you ask why they're bothering you. And so they just keep bothering you and make it hard to do anything else. And then when they can't do much with people, they know they bother strangers. And uh, everyone's happy they're done. Right? So. Well, since I was a kid, it's a perfectly normal thing to do. I'm not a weirdo. On the subway, everyone's relaxing, getting along, politely acknowledge each other, pledge you, because, hey, how's it going? How's it going? I got barred here. You can look at people, see how they feel, see their faces for a second or whatever. And then the poor sketchy one gets on, and everyone's uncomfortable, and everyone looks down at the newspaper, look away, spaz out, and they run away, and everyone relaxes, has a nice day. So. Mm. And that's just how they, that's just their social life in the city. Yeah. A couple here and there is okay, right? You know, they go to the homeless shelter, they're too sketchy, nobody wants to pay attention to them, you know, do anything with them. And then uh, the rest of the homeless people hang out, or poor mentally, mentally ill people hang out, the polite Canadian ones. 
And then uh, the sketchy one makes the rest uncomfortable, wanders around shaking near strangers because they can't do anything with people they know except bother them. You can't do anything with them except they bother them back. You can't pay attention to each other, you bother strangers. Okay. And that becomes their social life. And they can do it for you know, all day and all night. They can do it for their entire life. You know, it's just, you know. But you don't get involved because they get offended if you ask them why they're bothering people. So then they just keep bothering people. And then it's hard to do anything else near people. And then that's about it. So we just keep bothering people. You have no relation. As long as no one thinks it's your wife or your girlfriend having some sort of sketchy meltdown. And there's nothing to be embarrassed about, nothing to be ashamed of, you know, nothing to be blamed for, you know. And you just live and let live, right? And other people are super nice to me, right? Super nice. And I've asked other people if they want to enjoy it, just in case. I'm like, oh, people, anybody want to enjoy this? 50 people over there, person spazzing out near me. I really think some stranger might like it. But you know, just put up your hand, I'll send them over. They look at you like a cat you sprayed with a squirt gun. Fuck no, man, don't send them over here. Jerk. It's like, oh, never mind, forget it. Just quietly ignore it. <laughs> oh, people are super nice. Straight up guys, nice girls, cute kids. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. The ones that they rude and sketchy, they're happy they aren't embarrassed, you didn't look at them. They're happy they aren't bothered, you didn't bother them. You didn't, you, nobody likes that. Nobody likes being bothered like that. That's how they spend their life in the city. You see one every few months, then every few seconds. That's the sort of difference. But otherwise, basically the same thing. They know you're not going to like it. Tell your kid put a stick in dog poo and tricks you into looking at it. Yeah. They keep doing it. Eventually, you don't want to pay attention to that kid anymore. They go do it near strangers. They don't want to, they don't like it either. But what else can they do, right? So. <laughs> and if it's serious mental illness, it's serious mental illness. If not, but it's probably brainwashing. Guys discouraged from uh, from uh, talking, want to get looked at instead, but look, they have nothing to look at, no one to look. They don't want to look at each other. So they have to speed everything up and sexually harass each other. They still don't want to look at each other, so they have to jealously harass girls, trying to steal any attention they got, because they want to get looked at like a girl. Not gay, not twinky gay, not trans, nothing like that. Just regular guys. And um, and so they made everyone be unable to relax. These big, strong guys made everyone be able to relax and be nice and look at and talk to and listen to each other. And they just run around all shaking near people. So that's why it all looks the same, right? Because if you're a normal, if you're a girl, from age three to 103, you do something appropriate for age, looks, relationships. But if you're just a, a guy doing it, then there's nothing to look at, no one to look at. So we oh, have to force you to see this, you're not gonna like it. And they don't respect each other, can't communicate well. They don't let anybody else be nice, look at, talk to, listen to each other, jealously try and spaz out and steal any attention when people try. So everyone starts doing it, and that's basically how it happens. So if it's not serious mental illness, then uh, then that's probably what it is. It's probably the best brainwashing in history. You're not supposed to talk about it. Because the girl's nice, you like that, you don't say anything or whatever, you don't talk about the details. And the guys are like, oh, well, I do say today, but I'm not even trying to look like one. You tend to, uh, and that's how it all looks the same. That's sort of the mass sort of commie zombiosis or corporate cloning of, of Canada and polite Canadians and other people around the world to some degree. Where you ask them why they're bothering people, they get offended. So it's like, I don't mind, just keep bothering people, they don't want to pay attention anymore, and they go bother strangers. And nobody can do anything near you except bother you back, and you can't pay attention to them either. And then, that's about it. So again, no relation, no relation. That might get you already or something. So not to be embarrassed for But the serious mental illness, that's one thing, it's brainwashing, you can beat it. So the Fight Club explains some of that. Otherwise, here we are at the proud, polite Canadian patriot rally, and you can compare the difference between what was going on on the way here and what's going on here, relatively speaking. Well, there'll still be some of that, but the polite Canadian peer pressure of taking yourself, other people where you live seriously, can beat the bother people, make everyone quite anti free speech zombie, make everyone uncomfortable, can beat that. So let's take a look. Okay, so where should I cross? Uh, I'll walk, I'll help you do this down, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm.
I can just make it across if you want. Like I can. Thank you. Thank you. So, thanks, officers. Cheers. So, we've got the. Uh, you see the difference? That's the difference. Now you still get some of that, but again, you can beat that. As long as you're not trying to do that, as long as you don't make people eat shit, you can beat that shit. Excuse me, how you doing? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they start touching their head and face and spazzing out, and you can't really do anything with them. So, just a little self respect, mind your business. How you doing, Mr. Yanos? What's going on? Good to see you. So, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like today, it's okay. So, they try to force you to put up with them like zombies, right? And if you ask them why they're bothering people, they get offended. And so they just keep bothering people and make it hard to do anything else. So, but proud, polite, patriotic Canadians, 500 here last Saturday, May 9th, 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 um, 12 to 3 p.m. They, they, they were doing it fine. It wasn't, hey, put on me, everyone quiet, uncomfortable, and say anything. That wasn't uh, a normal thing to do. You see, you can definitely help people stop as part of this process. So, it's great because nobody likes it. So, better. So, hello. There you go. Hello, hello. Hey, BK. How you doing? How you doing, uh, Martin? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna switch cameras to my GoPro, and we'll catch you up again. Great interview, though. Cheers. All right. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, pardon me, sir. Just a chick pick. Thank you. No, no problem. Cheers. Uh, all right. Hello. So, how you doing? So, how you doing? So, as you can see, Canadians are typically polite and brief. You politely indicate you're not going to bother each other. You can sh look at each other, share what's on people's faces, not make it hard to by getting worked up and make it hard to look at people, hard for them to look at you. And so, um, so that, if you save polite Canadians, you save Canada, then uh, that'd be a good thing. And this is early on today. And uh, much nicer day. How you doing? Much nicer day than last uh, last week. And uh, we've got some stragglers back here. There's the uh, Ontario Queens Park Legislature. Yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll you notice all these nice people here, and, and, and you know, people who want to bother nice people and run away are, are typically less less likely to at a place where there's proud, polite, patriotic Canadians taking themselves, each other, and where they live seriously. And um, and so that's good. So you can help the rest stuff. So what I'll do now... Twelve nineteen p.m. Saturday, uh, May sixteenth, twenty twenty, uh, downtown Toronto, Canada. BK from ManforWars.com, ManforWars Media. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, answers to work together, financial support. See the description below. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.